Shares of Lucid Motors are trading at 257 and they are down around 38% year to date. Zooming out on the chart, you can see that investors have not been having a great time since early 2022, as it's been on a pretty steep decline ever since. So the question is, is should existing investors be averaging down at these prices and should new investors be scooping up shares? Well, they aren't expected to turn a profit out until like 2028, 2029. All the analysts' expectations and projections that I've seen go out to 2027, still no profit, but they are expected to have a revenue of $3.65 billion at that time, which works out to a revenue per share of $1.59. So for my December 2026 price projection, I'm going to multiply that $1.59 revenue per share by the EV auto and truck manufacturer's industry average price to sales of 4.46, which results in a share price of $7.07 .07, or a 175% upside. I chose a price of sales of 4.46 because even though it's around eight and a half today, it has been trending downwards over the past few years. And I think that 4.46 is just really realistic and more on the conservative side. Uh, but anyways, it looks like other analysts are also pretty bullish on average with the average one year analyst price forecast being 316, which is about 23% higher than where it trades today with a high estimate of $4 and a low of 290. And something interesting is even the lowest analyst estimate of 290 is actually still higher than today's price of 257. Uh, but in terms of fundamentals, Lucid has beat two of its last four earnings calls. Their debt to equity is around 43%, which is great. They do not offer a dividend. And looking at their year over year revenue, it seems to have stagnated, but their net income is taking quite a dive recently as they continue to ramp up their investments. But if we take a look at their quarter over quarter, revenue growth it is trending upwards slightly so that's some good news at least but in terms of a qualitative analysis even though tesla's q1 deliveries this year have declined and that was big big news lucid's deliveries are still trending up which is great and i guess we'll have to see if they can continue this trend as their gravity suv starts to sell and this is good news i mean especially combined with the increase in global ev market share uh, spells really good news for Lucid, as I said. However, investors will need to be patient because like I said before, they aren't expected to turn a profit until sometime around 2028, 2029. But the good news is they do have about 4 billion on cash and they have about 4.7 billion in equity. Uh, compared to their total debt of 2.4 billion right now. So they do have quite a bit of wiggle room and there is very little concern of near term financial distress. However, as the EV market starts to struggle, this could introduce a lot of risk for Lucid because they do need to keep those deliveries trending up in order to meet expectations. And according to recent news, that is it looks like that risk is very real and ultimately quite a threat to the Lucid share price, even at these levels, just because Lucid's on the luxury side of that as well. That said, I do think Lucid's risk to reward ratio is actually pretty good. You know, um, in terms of EVs, it's about the least risky EV play that I've seen recently, and they certainly do present a lot of upside. I mean, my, my projection at 175% for December 2026 is very conservative um, with that low price to sales of about four. And, uh, you know, it's pretty clear that EVs are going to continue to eat up more of that global market share as well, which is great news. So combined with their fundamentals, I rate Lucid stock a buy. Uh, it's as simple as that. So anyways, that's all I have for you today on Lucid Motors. Please drop a like. Let me know what stocks you want me to cover next, and I will see you next video.